Hello there friends, I'm April San Pedro and if you've been here the last time, I shared with you my Vancouver haul. Now this time, I want to share with you the art supplies stores that you can go to in Vancouver. First up is the Opus Art Supplies. Now this is the very first art shop that I went to when I first visited Vancouver. And you'll find this art shop in different areas because they have um, several branches in Vancouver. One of my favorite was in Granville. Now even though I've been to Opus Art Supplies, this is my very first time to visit this branch in downtown area and this time around I'm with my husband Rocky and my son Nicholas. I'm not sure if this one is a little smaller or bigger than the other branches but surprisingly you will also find various items in the shop. If you have a specific brand in your mind or you just want to try different art materials there's a big chance that you might find it here in Opus Art Supplies. From different mediums like branded watercolors or handmaids, uh, there's also acrylic, charcoal, brush pens, brushes, and anything perhaps that you're not familiar with or you want to try it on. This one is really a haven for an artist. This was also the first time I saw Daniel Smith, my favorite watercolor set. My eyes got really big. I cannot explain how excited I was back then. And my wallet was crying at that time. And because in my city, art supplies are quite limited. So this is where I also discovered some art materials that I've never heard about or I want to try it on. One of my go-to brands that I look for whenever I'm in art supplies in a different country are the Golden and the Liquitex, especially their mediums like the gesso or the matte or glossy um, gels. Um, they also have the paste. And one of my favorites are the mediums that you can add to your acrylic paints or maybe in your watercolor just so you can put it on different surfaces like the glass or fabric. Another thing that excites me in the shop are the various papers, sketchbooks uh, that you can use for your mediums. That's because there are just so many options to choose from. Opus also has their own art materials line just like a sketchbook, acrylic, and brushes. This time around, my wallet wasn't crying because these are the only things that I got from Opus Art Supplies. Next one is an art shop called Desiris. Now, it's funny that for the several times that I've visited Vancouver, this is the only time I've heard about this art shop. It just so happened that I was searching for a certain brand of material and I chanced upon their website. And boy, that was a lucky accident. And of course, I have to check it out. I was truly surprised how big this art shop was and the variety that they have. And just like Opus, they also have their own line for the basic art materials, just like the brushes and I think watercolor and acrylic as well. I think they only have one brunch in Vancouver, but they do have another brunch or a flagship store somewhere outside Vancouver. Aside from the art materials, you can also find things for crafting or for doodling, um, anything you fancy actually. Although it was my first time here, I was able to control myself not to buy so many things, but only the things that I truly needed. I think it's, it's aisle. Aisle 8. What are those? It's spot. <laughs> those are brush markers. I'm not sure though if Desiris carries more brands than the Opus but I was able to find um, other brands here compared to the other art shop. Nonetheless, both art shops are very responsive so if you need anything or you're looking for certain brands or materials, you can just simply contact both of them. If you are a student in Canada, all you have to do is simply 
show your ID and register to their website and you can get a percentage discount for your purchase. Desiris also carries various options for your calligraphy, inks, canvases, papers, markers, um, paints, whatever you can think of. Or if you want to try something else, then simply you can just check out their shop. As for the price range, I'm not really sure which one is cheaper, but I believe the two art shops are relatively has the same, almost the same price range. They also have a section where you can try out some of the materials before purchasing them. So if you have enough time, you can just simply play here and explore some of the materials that you want to try out. One thing I noticed about Desiris is I'm not sure if they are accessible for commute or, or they're close to a train station or bus stop. Also, they have a second floor where you can find clearance items which you can find a lot. So you might want to check that out too. Alright friends, those are the two art shops that we've been to in Vancouver last year. I hope you enjoyed the videos and let me know in the comments what you think. See you again on my next video. Bye!